This is a question many pastors have told me. They are asked all the time, why don't Jews accept Christ? If it's that obvious. Why are the Christians so hell-bent on trying to convert us? What's the purpose of that? Why are Christians so hell-bent on converting Jews? Interesting choice of words. <laughs> so there are three reasons why Christians are obsessed with converting Jews. I should just state that Christians want to convert the world and not just the Jews. Right? When you see in Texas people wearing t-shirts, John 3.16, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that anyone who believed in him would not perish but have everlasting life. They really want to convert everyone. But why the Jews? There are three fundamental reasons for this obsession with the Jews. The first is that the Christian Bible prioritizes Jews for conversion. Matthew chapter 10, verse 4, 5, 6. Go not into the way of the Gentiles and the city the Samaritans enter you not. Only go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Romans chapter 1, verse 16. I am not ashamed of the gospel. It's the power and salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and then to the Greek or then to the Gentile. So the Christian Bible places a priority on converting Jews over non-Jews. Reason one. Reason two. Eschatologically, Christians believe that it is the mass conversion of the Jews that will trigger Jesus' second coming. This is based on a passage in Matthew 23, the very last verse, verse 39, where Jesus, we are told, says to a Jewish audience, I will not return unless you say, blesses he that comes in the name of the Lord. That's how that, um, that, that very explosive chapter ends. Because Jesus is speaking to a Jewish audience, the church, very significant segments of the church understood that passage to convey the following, that Jesus cannot make a second coming unless the Jewish people are first converted. The Jews, therefore, are holding up the show. <laughs> Get with the program. So the conversion of the Jews is critical to eschatology, which just means the end times study, okay? So that's reason two. The third reason is the most significant of all, the most important one, and that's the psychological problem that the Jewish refusal of the Christian message poses, the credibility problem that the Jewish rejection of the Christian gospel that opposes to the church. I mean, Jesus was a Jew, and the claim of the church is that he is the Messiah. The idea that of a Messiah is uniquely Jewish. The, the, the idea of a Christ meant absolutely nothing to the Greeks. That word, just, it just didn't mean anything. It meant nothing to them, okay? So the whole idea of a Messiah is uniquely Jewish. The promises of the coming of the Messiah were given to the Jewish people through Jewish prophets in a language that apparently only Jews could read. Jews have a a certain reputation. What reputation is that? Well, you know, even if you ask people who are not fond of Jewish people, if you went to a, a gathering of people who really don't like Jewish people, I know you never heard of such a thing, but it's possible, right? And you ask people, like, why don't you like the Jews? What's wrong with the Jews, okay? What are the kinds of things that you're likely to hear? We don't like the Jews because what? You're nasty. We killed Jesus. Oh, you went right too. We killed Christ. I remember being told that as a kid, and I used to say I wasn't even in a neighborhood at the time. But all right, well, you killed God. You committed deicide. Wow. Wow, that's very nasty. Okay. Can we dial that down? We, we control the banks. Very good. We control Hollywood, we control the news, we control world events, we control world leaders, we control, we control, we control. Okay, those are the kinds of things we're very likely to hear from a, a, a convention, a gathering of anti-Semites. Right? It's a world gathering. This is important, I want to like take our, 
Right. Now, what is the one thing, if I was interviewing people at a conference, a gathering of anti-Semites, an annual gathering, what is the one thing that I will not hear said about the Jews? I hate the Jews because blank. It's something really not nice. It is said about other groups. It's just never said about Jews. And that is exactly, they're stupid. That's going too far. <laughs> So the one thing that it's said about other groups, right? But the one thing you'll never hear anti-Semites say, you know why I hate the Jews? Because they're so stupid. Every, every clansman will go, what are you, oh, that's ridiculous. I mean, like that's like pushing it way too far. So the Jews have such a reputation for their intelligence that like, why do a people who have this sort of reputation, I mean, they should have figured this out. Why don't they believe? And therefore, it is only the conversion of the Jew to Christianity that can lend any credibility to the cross, never the conversion of a Gentile. And that's why that when Jews, chas v'chalila, heaven forbid, are converted, they are brought to Prestonwood Baptist Church. They are brought to churches all over this country, and they're put on the podium, and here is a Jewish believer in Christ who's accepted the Lord. And he was an Orthodox Jew and ate gefilte fish and all these kind of brilliant ideas. Why do they parade them around? Why do these Jews who fall into apostasy become ornaments of the church? Because it relieves the anxiety of why don't the Jews believe this? This is a question many pastors have told me. They are asked all the time, why don't Jews accept Christ? If it's that obvious. Like, why? You, if you say that the Jews just read their Bible, their Bible, and draw a different conclusion, then everyone is going to ask, well, but why do they? You follow? So the conversion of the Jew relieves that anxiety and that, and of course there is, it's, it's um, the reciprocal of this, and the reciprocal of course is that when a, a Christian joins Judaism, that's the, the most explosive thing you can possibly do. The, the most explosive thing. If you said I want to be an atheist, that would not attract as much anger, rage, as becoming a Jew. Even though becoming a Jew means, as a Noahide or conversion, means that you still believe in God. No, but that's like the worst thing because that's, the emperor has no clothes. That's the, that's the most dangerous thing to the church is that why would you become a Jew? <laughs> Let's go.